Hey guys, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a review and try on of the leather vest from the Spring Summer 2019 collection from Louis Vuitton, the first collection by Virgil Abloh. The full name of this item is the Monogram Embossed Grained Leather Cutaway Vest. This version, in terms of being commercialized, it comes in two versions. This is the white with the monogram, and then they have like a teal color with smooth leather without the monogram. And they're both the same price. So in the US, this is $2,530. So in the back of this pocket, it has a label, Louis Vuitton Paris, and this is part of the plain rainbow. That's the, the white colored items from the runway collection because it was kind of rainbow themed. I, if I remember correctly, like the first few looks were in all white with this as one of them. This vest features one zip, zipper pocket. You can't really store much, but I'll show you. And then there are two of these buckles here to adjust the, the vest straps. So it goes under your arm and it fits more snugly. And the metal hardware is also has some texture to it similar to the Louis Vuitton charm that they have on sale. It's like, it looks like it has dents in it. So it's not perfectly smooth. It's a small detail though that I don't know if a lot of people would really notice. And then one last thing is on the shoulder, on one side of it, it would be on your right side. There are two, I think they're magnetic buttons. And this really helps you get it on and off because otherwise, if this was solid, it could be really tough to put your head through this, this neck hole right here. So this comes off, which makes it a lot easier to put on and off. And it also means you don't have to keep adjusting the straps down here every time you, you wear it. So that was definitely a good choice. And these have LV on them on the back as well as on the top has Louis Vuitton. But you can't see, you can't see the buttons from the outside. You can see that there is another piece of leather. You can see a seam here as well. And I wish the monogram either, maybe it lined up, although I guess they have it, the LV facing in the right direction on both sides. So if it was one continuous piece, they would either have to custom emboss it or the back would have the upside down monogram. So if you're familiar with the speedies, that's what happens when they use one continuous piece. I think the speedies and the key balls, one side has the Louis Vuitton facing upward and then the other side has it upside down because they use one continuous canvas piece. So the back is just the, the top part and then you just have the two straps, there are no pockets. It's only the front on the left side that you have an extra area with the pocket. And this is basically Torion leather, or the, actually it's like the monogram emprunt for a women's line. I'm pretty sure that's the same exact one, but they don't, I don't think they call it that. The zipper pull is white and it also has Louis Vuitton on it. I did notice that the area where it connects here doesn't have the white paint. It looks like it's on purpose though, because I don't see it chipped. It actually, the paint just ends exactly where the metal touches the zipper hardware. So the zipper pocket, it's pretty shallow. It's not gusseted, so it's flat. And on the inside, it has the label. It's a size small, made in Italy. Online, they only show three sizes for this color, small, medium, and large. It's really adjustable, so honestly, you probably won't see too much of a difference. And then this is just like a folded materials tag, I think. Obviously, it's you don't want to wash this. And it's cow skin or cow hide or calf skin. And then the last one has a standard number or sizing numbers, even though I think this only comes in three sizes. In terms of what this can fit, I was kind of hoping it might fit my card holder, but it doesn't. I mean, it won't zip up. I guess you can kind of tuck it in and leave it open like that, but it's, you can definitely see that it's not going to close. You can, however, put cash and credit cards inside. 
So if you take out your cash and your credit card, you can put a few in there. Other than that, I really don't know what else you could put in there because you don't want to put anything that has depth. You don't want to put your keys in here unless it's a single key, like a single flat one. It definitely will not fit your phone unless you have a really tiny one. When I put my iPhone 10 in here, it'll fit lengthwise, but it's going to jut out a little bit. So of course you can't close it as well. Again, maybe just temporarily, if you need it to be hands-free, you can slide your phone in here, but it's definitely not going to close and you do run the risk of it falling out. The zipper hardware, so like this white piece is plastic. It's kind of tough to zip up though, because it'll zip up, sometimes zip up part way and then you have to really tug at it to make sure it goes all the way. It's kind of hit or miss. It was pretty easy that time, but there are times when I tried it that it definitely took a lot of maneuvering to get it to fully zip up. And then lastly, it just comes with the care tag. It's not really specific to the vest. And in English, it's just talking about you choosing like a leather garment and it gives you some instructions on how to take care of it and how to store it. But that's about it. And it's just in different languages, but there's nothing special about this that directly ties it to this vest. I kind of wish there was maybe like a spring summer 2019 booklet. That would be a pretty cool collectible, but I didn't purchase any bags or at least not yet from the spring summer 2019 collection. And this item I actually got a chance to preview it last year when they did the October launch of a few items. I really like pairing this with more tailoring wear. I'm going to, I'm probably going to try it with streetwear, but I do really like the way this looks over a vest or over a suit, like a blazer. And I also like the way it looks over a turtleneck or a sweater like that. I haven't tried it with, let's say, just a t-shirt and with shorts and sneakers, but probably in the summer I may try pairing it with that. But I will say since this is white, you do have, you run the risk of color transfer and especially it's like grain. So if you, you can't, or you don't really want to wear a shoulder bag with this because it's going to keep rubbing against the leather. So that's the, something to consider. If you wear this, you probably don't want to wear a, sh a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag maybe, but definitely a crossbody bag. It's going to rub against one of these sides and you probably don't want that happening because any mark is going to be pretty visible on a white leather piece like this. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. I already have a few photos of trying this on 
and I'll definitely post more of those as I wear them out. This is more gonna be like a special events. I don't think I would wear this out normally because it's kind of delicate and it is white. I do have one piece of this material that should be coming this summer, hopefully. I think that might give you an idea of what it is. It is from the spring summer collection, but pretty much no one has it yet. You know, I definitely will update you guys. So if you subscribe to my channel, you'll definitely be one of the first to know when that video or that unboxing is gonna happen. So thanks again, and I hope to see you in my next video.